Hi guys, I'm going to be reciting one of my sto original stories that I have written. This is an ongoing story. I'm only reciting about 900 words. I might do less than that. I'm not really sure. But this, so this story, I started in... In November 1st, 2012, for Hang Tight, for National Novel Writing Month, which is in November, you do, they make you, it's a little challenge that all writers do in November of writing 50,000 words in a story. This story actually came from this, from that challenge. And I've gone beyond that to about 73,000 words in this one story. I'm reading you part of chapter one. So I'm going to start reciting it right now. And I'm going to give you the titles and the chapter the Sword Princess, Kathleen's Journey. Chapter 1 Sorceress, please open a gate. The woman yanked the sorceress under the brush. She didn't care for the woman's feathered cloak as the afternoon sun peeked through the trees. The sorceress yanked her feathered cloak out of sight as she whispered, To where, Talia? I need to know where. Anywhere, the woman stated. Anywhere but here, Adon. I cannot cast the gate lying on my belly, Talia. Adon whispered as she tried to get from the brush. Talia knew she was right. You're right. Let's get out of this brush so you can cast the spell. Talia allowed her to move as she followed her. She knew there was not much time to waste arguing over it. Arun finally came to the part of her chant where the location of the gate was to open at. She stopped as she turned towards Taya. Where should the gate open? They heard the sound of men coming closer. Panic started to show in the sorceress's stance, but Taya remained calm. Anywhere, Aaron, anywhere my sword can be safe. They cannot get their hands on it. The woman whispered, holding the silver sword tight against her chest. Her fingers caressed the blue jewel in the base. If they do, we will not survive. What do you mean? Aaron asked. You know the power this sword, this sword holds. King Aurelius will make this world suffer under him if the sword deems him that status. Talia glanced away from the woman before turning her eyes back onto, onto her again. But you and you know my brother Adon. He will not take the role. He will refuse it. And I am not fit for it either. King Aurelius cannot get the sword. Never. I will not allow it. Why send it away? My fa The king entrusted it to me, she cried out. I must keep it safe, even if it means sending it away without me to protect it. But send it well. I do not know where to cast the spell. I could end up placing it in space or even into a sun. Taya looked at her for a few minutes. Send it to where Tobias once lived. Are you sure? It should be safe there. Send it to that planet? Adrian asks again. Yes! Please hurry and open the gate, Talia replied. They're coming closer. Adrian's face looked defeated as she opened the gate to the location that Talia had stated. I hope somebody is there to... Uh, to take care of the sword and protect it. 
She should be, Talia watched as her friend's face went from looking defeated to that of horror. Talia, why throw the sword in? You could have gone in. Whoever the gate opened, a new warrior will be claiming the sword as her own. She, Talia replied, she looked towards the sound towards the sound as the, she knew men were approaching. She looked back to Alduin as she headed back into the brush, covering herself with leaves. When the warrior comes, I will no longer be here. What do you mean? I cannot let them take the sword. They can capture me, but they have lost the sword of Samir, Talia said. She made herself visible with her long brown hair and trim ponytails. She wore a long brown tunic with gold armor, which protected most of her arms and legs. They both heard the crack of branches. Taya turned her head to keep an eye on where the sound came from, as she formed a plan to give her to give her friend enough time to escape. Taya, come back under here, Adon whispered. No. Taya whispered, my time as co-leader of the band is at an end. Taya, have you gone insane? Get back under here. Aaron whispered loud enough for her to hear it. Taya shook her head. Hide and be safe, sorceress. Only you will know the truth that the, so the warrior comes with my sword. It will. It is the one who I sent it to, for she alone is the true heir of the sword, but I will lead them far away from you. Adron's face looked pained as she knew it might be the last time they looked upon each other. Taya knelt next to her. You need to go back to the others and wait for the wa warrior's arrival. But how will I know? The sword will call out to you when the warrior finds it. Adron looked defeated as she drifted further into the dark brush to hide. Taya went dashing off into the forest as men went chasing after her. They never saw her hidden in the brushes. As soon as the coast was clear, she dashed off in the opposite direction with one thought on her mind. I hope you know what you are doing, Taya. That is part, end of part one of chapter one. This is the only part of the story that will be done audit with audio. Because I'm still working on writing this story. I just gave you a little teaser to wet your whistle. So if you uh, like what you heard please leave a review and I might do the second part of chapter one finish the entire chapter for you so you can see and hear so you can hear the whole chapter one but I hope you enjoyed what you heard and I'm signing off for the evening wherever you are you're special, you mean something to someone, and never let anyone take your dreams away from you. This is my dream to, work, to write stories. That dream will never be taken away from me.